Hey there everybody, it's Jack here from Be Mobile Physio and in this video I want to show you some balance exercises you can do at home with just a ball and a book. So we get a lot of people asking us how they can improve their balance. Well, there's multiple different ways. First way would be to do resistance or strength training so that you can increase the muscle strength, allowing you to get your body into the position it needs to be in when balancing on one leg or when doing certain daily tasks. The second way to do it would be to be very specific about what you're training. So if you would like to be able to take off your shoe while standing on one leg and then put it back on, you can practice that exact task and it's gonna make you better at that task. But a nice fun way we can train balance is by adding in a second task, what we call dual tasking, okay? Many people will know as multitasking. So that our ability to pay attention to two things at once, which has been really effectively proven to reduce falls risk as you get older. So I'm gonna show you three exercises you can do with just a tennis ball and a book. Now just keep in mind, whenever you're doing balance exercises, you want it to be challenging. So if you're standing on one leg for a minute and it's super easy, that's not really gonna improve your balance. You have to add some challenge to it, okay? So you should be really struggling to stay on that one leg if you're challenging your balance properly. Okay, let's go through the first exercise. So all you need to do is put either one foot in front of the other, which is obviously reducing our base of support, which means we're challenging our balance. And if that's too easy, you can go up onto one leg and do a single leg balance, okay? Then all you're going to do from here is chuck the tennis ball up and down from one hand to the other. Nice and simple, okay? Once again, with one foot in front of the other or balancing on one leg. So what we're doing here is we're taking our attention or more of our attention away from the balance, okay, on one leg and putting it onto the throw. So it means our attention is now divided making the task much harder, okay? And then you could even go underneath the leg if you wanted to try that, get a little bit trickier, okay? Or you could pass it to a partner or bounce it off the wall. So there's exercise number one, a nice simple one, either one foot in front of the other or standing on a single leg with some throws. Okay, exercise number two is little one stolen from the soccer boys. So all we're going to do is doing some dribbling around one of our legs. So what we're going to do first is stand on one leg. Now, if you need a bench or something to hold onto, make sure you do that. But if you can challenge yourself on one leg, even better. All we're going to do is pull that ball around our leg, dribble it around with your toes. Nice small dribbles, okay? And do some revolutions around our foot, just like that. And then you can reverse the way you do that for a nice cheeky balance exercise there. And then you can obviously change legs and you can even go a little bit further out to make it harder. Just like that, nice and far out. Oh, and as you can see, that's really challenging the balance. Okay, so that's where you want it to be. You want to be nearly falling for most of the exercise so that you really are challenging it. So there's exercise number two, dribbling around the foot. You can even play that with a partner as well by kicking the ball to each other whilst balancing. Third exercise is a great one we call nerd ball, okay? And we love this one because it involves books and I love books. Now this is a really big hardcover book, but you might want to get a small one, but hardcover is better, okay? Because it's a flatter surface for better balancing. So once again, you're either going to go in tandem stance, one foot in front of the other, or you can do a single leg balance. And what you're going to do from here is simply balance the ball on the book. Nice and simple, okay? That is your first task. So once again, taking our attention away from the balance and putting it on another task, balancing a ball on a book. From there, you can just do some rotations and move the book around. You can move the book up and down, and that's going to make the balance a bit harder because now we're visually having to track the book, which is putting our balance off a bit. If you're really good, you can even try passing that underneath the leg, and this is going to be a really hard version of that. But otherwise, moving that around in circles, up and down, changing the pattern, and obviously make sure you do both legs. Okay, nice and easy. So there's three fun exercise to improve your dual tasking. 
um, which is also going to obviously help your balance. So next time you do go to do a single leg balance exercise, it's going to be far easier because you're not having to throw a ball up and down. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video, giving you those three exercises to do with just a ball and a book, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Keep balancing. See ya.